Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Nick Kane. He is managing partner with the Janik Performance Group. Welcome, Nick. Thank you, Gerhard. Nice to be here. You're an expert in inside sales. Can you tell us a little bit about the evolution of inside sales? There is no, um, no question that the inside sales team structure, the organization has changed. And I think a lot of that is related to, to buying behavior. You know, we talked a lot about that at the conference recently. Um, we, we see a lot of writing and research on this. There's no question that buying behavior has changed. Um, and I think organizations need to adapt to, um, to the change in buying behavior to make sure that they're maximizing those opportunities. Right. Um, so I'd say the biggest opportunity that most organizations have to make that adoption or that adaption is really through the inside sales team. Talk about the, the trend from outside sales to inside sales. I'd like to understand that better. Yeah, that, that's been a big shift for sure. You know, organizations are able to do more inside uh, than they've ever been. You know, I think a lot of that is really just based on um, the level of sophistication within the inside sales organization, you know, and their ability to develop relationships and communicate well with customers, uh, where before that was primarily left to outside sales. Um, but I, I think the shift is, is actually more than just outside to inside, right? The shift is really more about specialization as opposed to taking a general approach. And let me tell you what I mean by that. You know, what we see primarily is organizations that are more sophisticated, the best in class, are taking more of a specialized role because of the types of leads they're receiving. Right, buyers are doing more research. You know, we we've talked about this at right. length, right, Gerhard? I mean, you've you know, you you hear this from most of most of the marketplace. Right. So, in order to to capitalize on where buyers are and to meet them there, you really need more of a specialized role, right? In the past, it was a much more of a much more of a generalist way of doing things. Right. Inside sales did everything: sales support. They they worked small deals. Um, they uh, provided. Um, you know, a lot of different support to the outside sales, uh, but they weren't really specialized. Now organizations are, are creating more specialized roles. So they're, they're, they're roles like lead development, who are screening leads, business development, who are primarily tasked to make outbound calls and generate leads. Um, it's really about meeting the buyer where they are in the sales process. So can you help me understand the, the four major roles of inside sales that you see and, and what are those functions? I would say the four most common roles that we've seen from inside sales today, first is a lead, lead development rep. So this is someone that is primarily handling inbound leads that are being generated from marketing efforts. These are passive customers that are probably doing more research. They may not be ready to engage with a, with a salesperson just yet. Um, but they're looking for more information, they're doing their research, right? It is that person's responsibility to take that lead from passive to prospect, okay? right. The next one I would say is a business development rep, right? So this person has a, a very different role. They're not handling inbound leads. They're making outbound calls, utilizing a list or a database or something to be able to generate interest. And their primary end result that they're looking for is establishing appointments for salespeople. The next role I would say is, is a true inside account executive, right? So somebody that is working leads that are being passed along from those two groups. Um, they're, they're taking that lead from prospect and they're responsible to convert that sales opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the last is channel sales, right? So right. this is a completely different role. This person has more of a true business development mindset and is looking to establish partnerships with channels um, across a variety of, of uh, markets. Can you describe the challenges that sales organizations face as they make the transition to inside sales and to those specialized groups? I think the first thing an organization needs to look at is the talent, right? You have these different roles, you've established what the structure should be. Now, do you have the right talent in the right places? You know, a lot of organizations make the assumption that they can just sort of move the people out to different roles, make them more specialized, and it's gonna work. And that's not always the case. I think, so I think the first thing they need to do is take a step back and really assess who is the right person for the role. Uh, and then once that's established, do they have the skills to be able to most effectively do that role? Right, because right. those skills are very different. Somebody that's making outbound calls is going to require a slightly different skill set than somebody that is establishing channel partnerships, as an example. So I think it's important first to determine: Do you have the right people in the right roles? And then second, provide them with the support they need to sell most effectively. Well, thank you, Nick. For anybody who'd like to know more, go to Janik.com.